Hi friends, welcome to learnsub.com. Today I am going to show how to install Bunsen Labs Linux. Before start installation, you must download Bunsen Lab latest edition ISO file and then make it bootable USB or DVD. The next you insert that bootable media into your system. After that restart your system. After restart you can get installation menu page like this. Here you just choose graphical install by using arrow keys. After that press enter to start the installation. Next select your language and then click continue. Next select your location and then click continue and choose your keyboard layout. I choose British English and then click continue. Now the additional components are loading. And now you can get configure the network wizard. You just click to continue. Then next you select configure the network manually and then click continue. Next set IP address. After that click continue. Set your net mask then click continue and then set gateway click continue then next you set your name server address and then click continue after that you set your host name now you can get user creation wizard you just create a new user and then click continue set user account name and click continue set user password then click continue ok now you can get partition disk wizard like this you just choose manual for create a custom partitioning now you can able to see your hard disk you just select it and then click continue then select yes for create new partition table after that click continue now you can get your free space of hard disk select that free space and then click continue next select create new partition and then click continue to create a first partition you just give a size for main mount point i give 15 gp choose partition type as primary and then click continue and location for new partition i choose beginning now you check your first partitioning uses like a file system and mount point slash and you just turn on your boot flag and then click done setting up the partitioning and then click continue now again you select your free space of hard disk now you create a partition for swap memory you just click a continue and then again you select create new partition and then click continue give a size for swap here you must give double size of your actual memory as a swap memory i have 2 gp ram that's why i give 4 gp after that click continue and select partition type as primary click continue location for the new partition you just click beginning and then click continue ok now you can get your second partitioning here you select users now it's by defaultly ext4 you just change this ext4 to swap memory you just double click on users you just select swap area and then click continue next you on the boot plug just double click it and finally you click done setting of the partitioning and then click continue okay now the partitioning process over after that partitioning you just click finish partitioning and write changes to this disk after select you just click continue now it's ask write changes confirmation you just click yes and then click continue now installation is started next you can get configure the package manager you just click go back and then select yes for continue without a network mirror and then press continue now the installation will be continued the next you can get install the grub boot loader you just select yes and then click continue and next you select your hard disk for install that grub boot loader and then next you click continue ok now the installation process is completed once installation completed you can get finish installation wizard like this you just click continue for complete installation and restart your system after restart you can get login wizard like this you just enter your username and then enter user password and then press enter to login ok after login you can get post installation press enter to continue then you enter your user password and then press enter the next you just type i understand and then press enter the next you again press enter to continue continue that post installation the next you press y to continue the installations again press enter to continue ok now the post configuration is completed by defaultly it shows your system monitoring informations like hostname linux help and ram size and cpu usages and swap also 
want to open your terminal you just click this x terminal emulator now the emulator is open you just check your ip space by using ip space a command and this is my ip and we check internet connection okay that's it now the installation process is completed i hope in this video can help you understand how to install buns and labs linux thank you for watching